Well, I'm having problems with the water heater. I'll show you what it is. There we go. It's the good old Truma one and it lives down here. Let's get all this out. And we'll do some investigation. So this is the problem. And here's the little control panel up here. And the problem is, is that it seems to be working. But only for a short period of time. So you turn it on. And it comes on for a little while. You can hear it ignite. And then after that it just goes off and you get the red light. The dreaded red light. Right, just having a look at it. There's a gas supply pipe right at the back. Control box there. There's your water and cold water and hot water coming in. And an overflow pipe which goes down through the floor. So, it doesn't look like the easiest serviceable item to get to. I think I prefer one of the old Ascots, I think. At least in, on them it's only cleaning the, the burner out. Or doing a diaphragm. Well, this is where the vent is. On mine it's behind the, the bike rack. And uh, there's six screws to get out. So I'll take them out. Remove the screws. Take off the plastic cover and you're then left with this. But unfortunately can't see no burners. So they don't make it easy do they to get to. And the bike rack doesn't help either but that's not my doing. Now looking at this plate that's on the back. These holes here are where the plastic cover goes through. And we've got four of these um, hex bolts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen them off and I'm going to see if that moves and there's no point me taking it out if it's just a plate or if I can't get to the burner. So I'll have a look at that first. Hopefully I'll find something in here. My dad's old uh, socket set. Must be God knows how long. Old but he's still doing a good turn for me. From father to son. Right, that's typical, isn't it? Seven millimeter is too big, and so we try the next size down, which is a six millimeter, and that's too small. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, on to Imperial. Well, the nine thirty second um, of an inch old Imperial is the best one that fits it. However, got a problem. Been able to loosen up three. But, one is sheared. Um, I suspect it's because it goes into the aluminium. Anyway, nothing I can do about that. Right, I can't get in there with anything to clean the burner. Which, to be honest with you, is a bad show. Because if you've got to actually remove the burner um, to actually do anything, that's not very good. So I'm hoping that I can blow any cobwebs or anything that might be interfering, I de debris or anything like that, out with this aero duster. Now, I can't get in there because there's a big old hole there. So what I've done is I've connected this, air, this um, air duster can to a length of silicon tube, which I'm going to put in there and just wobble around, see what happens. Right, I can't really show you how this is going to work, but my idea is to just push this all the way down there and move it about inside with the air going, which it comes out at quite a rate of knots, and that should blow the cobwebs away. Can't show you me doing it because I'm holding the camera. Anyway, it either works or it doesn't, because if it works, it's going to light, and if it doesn't, it won't. Fingers crossed. Right, here we go. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Turn it on. And the green light's on. It's going. No. <laughs> so, it looks like that whole lot's got to come out. Which is a problem. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've turned the gas off. There we go. That should help a bit. Let's try now. 
Here we go, fingers crossed. Uh, see what happens now. Right, that lit, I heard it. We're there. So that's it, blow it out with an ear duster and that should solve your problem and it also helps to turn the gas on <laughs> I better go and check it because I haven't got that cowl on at the back I want to make sure there's no problems everything's okay now and it's nice hot air coming out of there let's have a look and see what we got on the on the vent let's have a look, hang on a minute Let's have a look, it's coming out the vent, so you see it? Get a bit closer. Looks like it's getting warmer all the time as it's warming up. Yeah, yeah, you can see it climbing. So we know it's alright. We know it's alright. And of course it's not cutting out. Brilliant cracked it. So there you go, easy way, get the plate off, air duster, little bit of silicon tube, go in the top there, on that edge there, oh, it's getting a bit warm, down there, go down there, you'll get to the burner, and you can just see the burner down there, unfortunately you might not be too clear on this, I can't do any better, and down there just wobble it about with a bit of silicon you're not going to do any damage because it's nice and flexible so you just put it in and the curve you can wobble it about and of course it blows everywhere and I can assure you it comes out like a like a bat out of hell out of one of these things so that's it all I've got to do now is seal it up nothing that I can do about that screw because it's steel into aluminium which is a bad job anyway you can't do that it will always corrode so that's it but it's working fine so that's it